Hello and welcome back to another episode of Into the 99, where we've got 99 cards, because Commander's number one. I am one of your hosts, Daniel. I am joined today with Brian. Brian, how's it going? Oh, not bad at all on this foggy Silent Hill day here in Calgary. Yeah, <laughs> you, you keep saying it's so foggy. It wasn't too bad when I was outside, but it must have changed drastically, or I guess you're I kind of far away. I can the field across the street from me. True. Your Brian's lost in a dream. Yeah. Um, wake me up. We have no Slothy this weekend, although Slothy is technically with us. That's not me calling him a ghost. He is, he's in the room. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, we were going to do one of Slothy's decks, but uh, we're, we're changing it up this week. We're going to do Rhea because I really like Rhea. It's fun. And because I'm not going to take Slothy's deck from him. I want him to explain the glory of his Imidane. Slothy's got the case of the hums. Yeah, the hum. <laughs> Um, yeah. So, anyways, let's uh, let's jump right into what Rhea is because I love this commander. I've I really keep just buying this card because it's great. Uh, Rhea Ivor. Before I even tell you what the card is, is the Hero of Blade Hold from like original Mirrodin with the battle cry, just Phyrexianized into something like kind of a, a, a Phyrexian evil version of of that card. And I loved that card. That's the attack and swing. I literally call the Leonin War Chief here. I don't even know if that's the right name. Because I call it Hero of Cathold. I only call it Hero of Cathold, you know? <laughs> so um, this, this is a, a fun card. It was interesting seeing them revisit like such cool old cards. And the Hero of Bladehold becoming the Bane of Bladehold is pretty interesting to me overall. But the card's annoying. And that's why I like this card. It's just, it's just funny. I really like uh, it. Yeah. It's uh yeah Sherman Sherman plays this guy too so I'm really interested to see how you built it from what I remember of him playing it because you, you played yeah. this against me Brian I played this against you a hundred percent yes I will wait until the list specifically for you to read one card and then you'll remember the game with no problem just wait I, think I do remember yeah. you killing me no no just 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 wait All so, right. All so right. anyways uh Rhea Ivor Bane of Blade Hold is two one white one black for a three four. Fairly decent stats at at four mana. Has battle cry whenever this creature attacks each other. Attacking creature gets one zero until end of turn. And at the beginning of combat on your turn, the next time target creature would deal combat damage to one or more players this turn, prevent that damage. If damage is prevented this way, create that many one one colorless Phyrexian might artifact creature tokens with toxic one, and this creature can't block. So you have a Orzov infect deck, but I really like this because this deck I think makes you need to politic you can't get around mm -hmm. politicking with this because this isn't when the creature deals damage it's when it hits so you want to you want to talk people into letting you somehow bonk them probably with Rhea or with whatever your biggest creature is so you can make these mites and the mites can kill the rest of the table or if you're like me you might just like to fill the table with them you know what i'm saying brian knows what i'm saying that's such a bad pun. <laughs> I, Brian, let me out. The deck is called Mighty Politics. I really, really like this deck. It's it's a super fun deck to play. Um, I like decks that make you talk to the table. This is going to be one of the ones that I bring out to the face-to-face -face event, obviously. Oh, and Kibo. I've got to talk about that in a minute, too. But I'll be bringing this one out to face-to-face -to -face specifically because it's fun to talk to other players, and it's it's kind of got some elements of group hug versus like if you don't want to make a deal with me i will force you to make a deal with me a little bit of nuclear arms deal making but it's uh it's a good time i already see one of the cards that makes me laugh yeah so the uh yeah uh, the reason really quickly if you are coming out to the calgary event you'll you'll get to play my my kibo make make bananas deck i'm gonna go bananas <laughs> that's a that's a really really fun deck to play so that'll be a good time um yeah, they, they announced some really cool um, tokens. So if you are coming, there's a banana token and uh, an insect one. But the banana is the gem. Yeah, right? It, it should be I, pretty I, fun. I, I need banana tokens. I need I, so I, many I, banana tokens. I keep buying bananas, but they keep going bad. So I keep buying, buying bananas. I, I always want to do that every time I play that. Uh, every time I play Kibo, I want to get bunches of bananas and just start passing them out of the table. There you go. Here's yeah. a banana. You need potassium. Banana peels all over the table. Let's jump into my artifact section. Pretty simple. We have a charcoal diamond. Two mana. Tapped. You add a black. Simple. I like it. I like these ones. And the next one here we have is Infernal Idol. Three colorless, tap to add one black. I haven't seen this one before, but 
it looks like it's from Jumpstart. Uh, one and two black to tap at Sacrifice, the Infernal Idol, and you draw two cards and you lose two life. I like it. Yeah, not bad for later. Good early. Uh, we've got an Inherited Envelope. Three mana when Inherited Envelope enters, the ring tempts you and add one mana of any color. And just to, just to get back up to it, the ring tempts you, ruling specifically. Oh, uh, where's my ruling? Whenever the ring tempts you, you make a creature your ring bearer. Where is the ring bearer ability? This I this will the take token, a minute. The token <laughs> rules. <laughs> uh, it just, or it should just, I say the Tolkien? The Tolkien rules. <laughs> that's it's yeah. Okay, so your ring bearer's legendary can't be blocked by creatures with greater power, which does make us happy with Rhea because we don't want people to block and kill Rhea while we swing Rhea, because. You know, we want Rhea to hit and not do damage. That's the best way you're going to politics through Rhea. So giving Rhea unblockable, giving Rhea untargetable, any of those kind of things are really cool in this deck. I was going to go the Whisper Silk Shroud route, but I, I like mm. to be able to target Rhea. And it, it just seemed like a large, heavy investment that would turn it into a removal target when I tried to equip. Does it play Shroud? Uh, is it Shroud and not Hexproof? Yeah, it's, it's Shroud when it gets on. It's unblockable, which is great. But then, like I said, it's a, it's a pretty heavy card investment into getting it into it. And we don't want Rhea to be a target. We don't want people to see it as a threat. We want to say, yep. going to hit you. It's going to do no damage to you as prevented. I'm just making my mites. Just let me make a few mites. They can't even block your creatures if you decide to betray me later on. So don't worry. Right? But uh, the, the, <laughs> ring, the ring bearer does help us. So Inherited Envelope is a great is a great inclusion it's always the it's always the future yeah right when they betray us <laughs> yeah it's not if it's when because they will they will betray us the next one is phyrexian atlas and always love the art when i see this three colorless uh, tap to add one mana of any color and corrupted when phyrexian atlas becomes tapped each opponent who has three or more poison counters loses one life that's something we can actually trigger for once. I just put this in because I like it as a matter rock. Yeah, you can actually use it in the stack. Yeah, right. Or fully, fully use it. Um, we have a Relic of Legends, another three mana rock. You tap to add one mana of any color. You tap an untapped legendary to also add one mana of any color. Not bad, especially if it comes out to turn Rhea's down and you want to cast something else. Yep, I got two mana. Then obviously we got our Soul Ring, one colorless, tap to add two. Uh, the next one's actually really, really great for us. Symmetry Matrix. I've been putting this deck into, into uh, this card in so many decks. It's a four mana artifact. Whenever a creature with power equal to its toughness enters, you can pay one if you do draw a card. That that's just All a those mites. yeah, that's just a phenomenal draw engine. Brian, let me hit you for three. I just want to draw three cards and try help us both out. I just I have to kill Slothy. He's a problem. He's a real menace. I allow it. Yeah, because right. He really is a problem. And yeah. he can't defend himself right now. <laughs> it's it's definitely a solid one. Um, this one I don't believe I've seen, but we have Transmorgan Altar. It did come out in Brother Wars. Three colorless. Uh black tap, sacrifice a creature, add three colorless mana. Pay two and tap it, sacrifice a creature, create a three three colorless zombie artifact creature token, activate only as a sorcery. Our uh, our mites can't block, so this is just kind of a nice if we have extra mana on our turn. Turn those one one mites into three three zombies. Mm -hmm. Pretty solid trade off. In, yeah, and a blocker too. Yeah, I like that actually. Yeah, right. Uh, we can upgrade one mite every turn to a three three. We have we have great creatures, but we'll get to them last. Let's go down to let's do sorceries. I'll take the first one. You take the second one. So sure. I, I've got banishing slash. It's two white. Destroy up to one target, artifact, enchantment, or tap creature. Then if you control an artifact and an enchantment, create a 2-2 white samurai creature token with vigilance. I just like this piece of removal. I've been playing it a lot more lately. The yeah, artwork's really nice. Yeah, it, it, the fact that it's, uh, that it's hitting your artifact, enchantment, or creature at two, not bad. No, not at all. Uh, the next one we have is Cruel Entertainment. Six and a black choose target player and another target player the first player controls the second player during the second player's Dang. next turn and the second player controls the first player during the first player's deck's turn i remember this card now. yeah it's uh i just love this like in, in any orzov politics kind of deck you got to throw a little bit of, a little bit of shady deals into them right so the uh the cruel entertainment is really fun to trade turns around i i gave my friend tyrone and 
I gave Tyrone Bryant's turn, Brian Tyrone's turn. So they both like blew each other's lands up and sacrificed all their creatures and stuff. Oh, yes. Yeah. I remember. I really I, I knew you remember. would remember him blowing your lands up and all your hexproof things. Yeah. Because I couldn't get out of it. Yeah. I, I like that one. There was a lot. no way around it. So yeah, we. Yeah, like, him I casting didn't want him your to swords. All yeah. my stuff. Yep. They would sacrifice this to do this. I do this to do this. Oh no! It was, it was pretty funny. Cruel Entertainment does get pretty, literally entertaining. Entertaining. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've got our dark deal because we're we're politicsing. Uh, two and a black. Each player discards all the cards in his or her hand, then draws that many cards minus one. I really really like that refill option of I don't I've got nothing I need. Okay, well let me hit you with Rhea a few times. I'm gonna do new damage to you, but it's all good. And they're like, okay, I I wheel away. We're all good. I like wheels. It's always a good time. Not always, actually. I'll be I'll be honest. Uh, the next one we have is Gruesome Fate. Two and a black. Each opponent loses one life for each creature you control. Gross. Yeah, a pretty pretty nice ender there. If we can't get through, uh, I might not be able to get to get through someone's pillow fort that they've built up from the ground, but I can make them lose a lot of life. I actually haven't seen that card. That's great for anything us token, token heavy, yeah. hungry people. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty solid one. I, I like Golgari Sapperlings. Yes, it's I, I run it in a lot of things that are like the slime foot kind of thing. I like it. Yeah, it's a fun one. Uh we also have I want to take this one to this infernal offering. I really like this as a as a fun group hug. Four and a black. Choose an opponent. You and that player each sack a creature. Each player who sacked a creature this way draws two cards. Again, we're throwing our might away. Whoever's at the table may have a creature they don't want and need that draw to try to get some mana. Then you choose an opponent, return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield, then they return one from their graveyard. Oh, just all around great at all points of the game. You can always get your creature back. You can always get your creature back because it is after. Yep. I I don't know. You you play with a lot of cards that I rarely ever see, and yeah. I like it. Play Every it. time we do a, a deck tech on one of yours, I'm like, oh, I need to write this down. I play a lot of weird cards. You do. <clears throat> The next sorcery we have is Jailbreak. One and a white sorcery. Return target permanent card in an opponent's graveyard to the battlefield under their control. When that permanent enters the battlefield, return up to one target permanent card with equal or lesser mana value from your graveyard to the battlefield. <sighs> a lot of word. I like that card a lot, though. Or two, it's not bad. Well, and the other thing, too, again, we're trying to make friends. We don't just want to make enemies with our endless might army. Someone has to be the enemy. Someone's getting someone's getting swung on with these mites. But the uh, just might. Yeah, I just might. The the jailbreak is really fun because if somebody blows up something that you care about a lot, like your seedborn kind of thing, right? Saying, here's your seedborn back. I just want something that is annoying people back. I, I really, really like the ability to bring things back for other people. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, what is it? Um, there's the other card. I think it's a. Uh, oh, the, it came from uh, Strixhaven. That uh, if I do it, you can do it. The demonstrate like kind of yeah, mechanics, yeah. yeah. Um, our next one is to deal with people who are playing like us, which is Legions to Ashes. One, one white, one black. You exile target non-land permanent opponent controls and all tokens with the same name as that permanent great right. great removal overall it's just a phenomenal piece but the fact that you can take out every token someone's someone's scoot swarm a little too hard no problem scoot swarms yeah take them all to exile and then you don't trigger thousands of death triggers right because a lot of token players are animals who want to be able to to have those death triggers it's me it's me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The next one that we have here is Knight's Whisper, one and a black. You draw two cards and you lose two life. I like that. Early. I always run these. Yeah. And then we end our sorceries with this White Sun's Twilight. X, double white. You gain X life. We love it. You create X, one, one colorless for Xian might artifact creature tokens with toxic and they can't block. We love it. And then if X is five or more, you just draw a lot of creatures. Womp, womp. Womp, womp, womp. This is a really, really budget deck, by the way. I was going to say, you can upgrade this a lot if you anoint a procession or things to double up your tokens. But this is like a $100 oh, deck. Wreck. You get what you want. You get what you get. You get what you get with $100, all right? I had no other budget. All my other decks were so much. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, this is it's been such a fun deck to play. Um, missing from my list, it's not upgraded, but I did put a Rogue's Passage in. Rogue's Passage should be in, just so you can 
if no one wants to be your friends, you're in a group that doesn't like politics, well, then you force the politics. Yep. It's happening, nonetheless. Yeah. We have an every time, every time Slothy's absent, I've got an instant ad sorcery section that he'd be proud of. Well, proud of, may, may not be the right, but I have an instant ad sorcery section. Why well, are we doing the instance next? Yeah, we'll, we'll hit instance. Um, oh. Yeah, we, we start with a nice game ender. Brian, take it away. We got a Chroma's Blessing, two and a white. Creatures you control gain protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. Gross. I ran this in my cleric stack. It also Great. has cycling. It's, got, it's good. We can draw if we need. Hmm. A lot of for what it is. Alar uh, alert alert of our in instant section is for when people don't want to deal with Rhea. So uh, our first one we've got is our armor of shadows. One black until I'm turn target creature gets one oh and gains indestructible. You don't wanna you wanna try to turn your back on my deal? That's okay. We we'll swing the, the indestructible. Holder's gate? Uh, I believe so, yeah. I'm not, I need to get some get me some of these. Yeah, right. Those are new. I like it. I like I'll, all those protection spells. They're so good. I'll take the next one, too. It's just a simple dark ritual, a one black mana add three. Really nice way to get Rhea out, like on a turn two kind of thing, and start swinging. Yeah, drop the black on second turn, white, dark ritual. We're good. Yeah, I'll take this next card so you can have you can have that baby there. Oh, I, I, thought uh, you, got, I just thought you'd like this next one. Oh, I think you might. I think you like the next one, too. I, I do, uh, but... We got, We've got Feign Death, one and a black, or sorry, just a black. Uh, until end of turn, target creature gains. When this creature dies, return to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control with a plus one, plus one counter on it. I do like this card. I really like this card a lot. It's so fun to be able to, again, save Rhea if people are trying to be a jerk. But like, like I've told you, this whole point of this deck is to make friends and convince someone to let me smash them in the face with Rhea so I can make my might tokens. They can't block, they can't that do someone. But if uh, if someone else kills, like Brian's got a good card. Uh, again, Seedborn. Seedborn's the classic Brian. Somebody Doom Blades Brian's Seedborn. I say like, let me keep hitting you with Rhea. I'll bring it back for you. I'll save your commander from going to the command zone. Right? I really, right. I really, really like the two sided deals that I can make in this because we go from something like Feign Death to something like Humble. And if you if you tr don't want the deals, you're about to be humbled. Uh, one and a white. Until end of turn, target creature loses all abilities and has base power toughness zero one. You know how wild it is to think that you've got me with your big, your big silly flying commander. Oh, I'm gonna attack Daniel for ten. Are you? I, uh, I'm afraid not. Yeah. Through failure, we learn our finest lessons in humility. I really like the card humble. It's such a <laughs> fun card. Oh man, I remember when your brother attacked you with like those big forty something, forty something, and. Yeah, there was like a twenty-minute conversation about this. Yeah, it was it was pretty good. It's pretty good. It loses all abilities is rough. It'd be also great if it like loses all counters. I think that would that would be good. Yeah. The next one here is a lost two legend two white put target non land historic permanent into its owner's library fourth from the top. It's just funny, funny to cast on commander. Your, save your commander. Uh, save our commander if we need to. Generally, just send it to the command zone. Uh, a lot of times if you're playing against someone like a like a dean someone who's got those cards that phase your things out like out of time then having extra ways to get rid of your commander and get a command zone's good but a lot of times mm -hmm. it's going to be for really really annoying artifacts that have come out or people's commanders just a two mana let's let's put that back in the command zone yeah that, uh, let's wait a little bit longer and especially, I like how how very easily that gets around an indestructible clause. Yep, destroying nothing. I'm simply putting it away. And and keep keep in mind here, you can do some shady politicsing with it because you can say like, listen, if you leave me alone, I will not destroy your commander. And then you can tuck it. You have not broken your deal. You did not destroy their commander. Ors off politics, everyone. Ors off politics. Deals sometimes are shady, Brian. You got to read the fine print. You get it. You understand. It's keywords. It's keywords. I get it. It is keywords. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have this mortify as well. Just how can you not include an or self list? One, one white, one black. Destroy target creature or enchantment. Great. Yeah. Uh, then the next one is razor barrier. One and a white target permanent gains. Uh, sorry. Target permanent. You control gains protection from artifacts or from the color of your choice until end of turn. Yeah. Right. Also very fitting that it is like an original Mirrodin card. We're, we're where we should be. Um, I really, really enjoy casting this next one. It's shockingly one of the most expensive cards in the deck, which is funny. 
Uh, it's Reverend Mantra. Three and a white, instant. You can remove a white card in your hand for, uh, from the game instead of paying its cost. All creatures gain protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. All, not all Six yours. Forty nine to one hundred and twenty nine dollars. <laughs> it sure is, Ryan. It's uh, there's a real difference in in the in the printings. <laughs> that's so much. That's such a huge difference. Um, Reverend Mantra, especially with how many auras and everything just came out. Uh, protection is like the acronym's debt for anyone who doesn't remember it. Always, they can't be damage enchanted, blocked, or targeted. So, a uh, great save, all of us. This is. This saves us all from a blasphemous act if we need instant speed. Oh. So it's very hard to uh, very hard to threat assess something like this that you because you see me tapped out. You think that, OK, well, he's tapped. I can kill his creature, right? Mm -hmm. And it's uh, you're basically force of willing that stuff. But you can if you're up against something like a light pause, like uh, we did Yenna last week, right? Like a yep. Yenna and there's a bunch of auras on a creature. Everything's pro white. Boop, all your auras gone. Yeah. Don't look at me like that. Reverend Mantra is great. Yeah. Um, uh, but I do, I, I, like you mentioned, the the whole blasphemous act thing, like it, a board wipes coming and you can give the pre protection from them oh, from the color of your choice. Like a, the A really fun thing, too, is that you can, uh, in someone's declare attack steps after they've declared attackers, you can be like, everything is pro-green, but I can't block with green creatures. All creatures are pro-green. Oh, it's time. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it's time for me to go. Uh, I, I know when I know when it's time for me to die. Yeah, time for me to pack this stuff up. I uh, I really really like casting Reverend Mantra. I I think it's just a fun card you don't see. Actually, it's always Daniel that kills. <laughs> Sometimes, I I know what I'm doing. Uh, the next one here is Spare from Evil. One of the white creatures you control gain protection from non-human creatures until end of turn. We give I need a, more coffee. Wow. We give a little. We take a little. Right. Those mites. Uh. Again, shady deals. I get it. Those mites are able to get through pretty easy if you just have that. Okay, two mana. My things are protection from it. It lets you talk uh, talk a lot of good trash. You know, you just be like, I'm gonna kill you next turn. They've got like 50 tokens, 50 scoot swarms, and they're like, I would like to see you try. And All right, I, give me one turn. <laughs> then I spare. Then I spare them from evil. Uh, we also Don't worry. We're not to let anything happen to you again. It's also super annoying when people want to block our commander and they don't want to do deals with us. So you want to throw your big blocker in and show me how big and tough you are and kill my commander? Sudden spoiling. One double black, split second. Until end of turn, cr uh, creatures target player lose uh, control, lose all abilities, and have base power and toughness zero two. You're killing zero of my mites, and your, your commander's dying. I absolutely love this. I saw it played on, I think it was uh, our card nights or whatever it is on there. Uh but uh, yeah, guy swings out, and all of a sudden, sun spoiling. All the creatures are now zero twos. And yeah, you you think you've got the game ender, jumped. right? Yeah, you th you think you've got that game locked, and you swing out. All right, so what's up? Oh, uh, what are these zero twos? You say? Right. I I accept <laughs> I accept the damage from one hundred and eighty zero twos, and now I'm coming to you. And they're all tapped. Yeah, right. Enjoy enjoy the revenge. The next one we have is Supernatural Stamina, one black. Until end of turn, target creature gets plus two, plus O, oh, and gains whenever this creature dies, return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control. More deals. We're happy. Or your stuff if you're getting targeted. Yeah, right? It's, I, I like it both ways. Offense, defense, again, we can, we can offensively pull it, uh, like politics with it and just say, hey, I'm, I'm going to save your, your creature. Remember this. Remember who saved you on this day, or yeah, again, so I could kill you later. Yeah, just the, the mites. The mites might get you. Uh, we also have Surge of Salvation. I really enjoy this one a lot. One white, you and permanence you control gain hexproof and tell end of turn prevent all damage that black and red sources would deal to creatures you control this turn. Again, we're gonna get blasphemous act with a deck like this. We have a lot of creatures. Yep. Yeah. Right. So th that's gonna be our biggest threat. Is that one mana, thirteen damage to everything clear the board slate and we've got multiple things that are just finally giving us that i always play this card wrong like every time i, like I always one. think it's like a heroic intervention button white and it's not yeah they're not they're definitely not indestructible but <laughs> yeah and I, i'm just like ha ha and they're like what are you doing I'm like never mind yeah surge of salvation <laughs> is pretty cool 
Uh, the next one I had noticed you have, but not the other. We got Source to Plowshare. Uh, one white exile target creature. Its controller gains life equal to its power. As always, I had a lot of big trouble cutting this list down. I don't play a lot of Path to Exile. I, I, it's my standard removal. Path. I prefer to exile over damage. Path is a pretty phenomenal card, especially with the justification of I'm group hugging, guys. I'm just helping Brian get a land, right? It's great for that. I like to, again, I'm not, it's not that I'm exiling your creature. I'm helping you gain life. I'm helping you in the future. You know how funny it is? I guess so. You know how funny it is to try and make a politics thing? Hey, Brian, don't swing at me. I'll help you gain life. And then you say, okay. Okay. And then I, I get to my turn uh, when I finally have the untapped mana and I exile your commander with this. Sure. Sure. Your friends might be upset. But again, it is funny. They'll learn, they'll learn to articulate their deals better. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I gave you life. I made my the deal was done. Yeah, the contract is fulfilled. Move on, old man. <laughs> you're, you're so mean. <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, oh, we have a take up the shield. One and a white. You put a one one counter on target creature. It gains life link and indestructible talent of turn. I have to remember hmm, to buy one of like these as well. One. There we go. I, I might have like I think when I first came back. I bought a box of the set. I'm gonna have to. I'm sure you've got lots of these. They're they're a great card. Uh, again, in both ways, we don't have to just use it on us. We can use it on something else. You can make friends and and deep deep enemies. Oh, and then with that, we we make friends with Daniel, and then all of a sudden we have a tragic slip. One black, <laughs> one black uh, target creature gets minus uh, minus one minus one until end of turn morbid target creature gets minus 13 minus 13 till end of turn and said if a creature died this turn yeah this is a cool one again it's you block my mites sure your commander becomes a minus emra cool minus emra cool i like it we have this utter end two one white one black exile target non land permanent just phenomenal get things out of there yeah i i really enjoy the exile removal i'd rather not have stuff come back so um, same thing with this one, Vanishing Verse. Um, one white, one black, exile target, monocolored permanent. Yeah. And then I've been putting this into so many decks that I just love to be aggressive with Commander. You cannot pass. One white, destroy target creature that blocked or was blocked by a legendary creature this turn. This is specifically to remove things that dare to stand in front of Rhea. If I swing at you and you don't, like you want to block my creature, I'm destroying it with this. You cannot pass. Oh, geez there, Daniel. You I get, really don't want to stand in front of you. You get nothing. Yeah, I'm preventing the damage. Just take it. Take it all. Um, I think we have enchantments next? Yeah, we'll do enchantments next. We have a lot of I have a lot of people in my play group that can't die to damage. A lot of times they they can't die to damage. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so it, it's Brian. <laughs> Brian's the problem. There, there's just a lot of... You need alternate win cons in my play group a lot of the time. They're... You get locked out. You need something else, right? So we've got our poison counters. We have our our gruesome fate where we have the uh, life loss. Our first enchantment kind of deals with that as well. We've got the campaign of vengeance, which is what I undertake anyone who dares to, who, anyone who might challenge me, Brian. Uh, three, one, white, one, black. Whenever a creature you control attacks, defending player loses a life and you gain a life. Ooh. All right. Yeah, pretty solid. To, I swing 50 mites. I lose 50 life. Yeah, I, you lose 50, I gain 50. We're, we're back to good. The next one I really enjoy, which is Etchings of the Chosen 1, white, black. As Etchings of the Chosen enter the battlefield, choose a creature type. It might be mites. No. Nope. Uh, creatures you control of the chosen type get plus one, plus one. Uh, you can pay one, sacrifice a creature of the chosen type. Target creature you control gains indestructible until end of turn. We're choosing Phyrexian because Rhea is a Phyrexian knight. Oh, and the mites are so Phyrexian yeah, too. Yeah, creating one one colorless Phyrexian mites. So yeah, we're pumping. We're pumping the commander. We're pumping Rhea. Ev ev like we're pumping the mites. Everything's good in this card. And again, a one one mana sacrifice to keep your commander alive. Anything alive? Yeah. Uh, again, just being able to dump some mana late game into surviving a board wipe. Also great. I really like that. Yeah. Right. We have this force of virtue. Two double white. It's not your turn. You can exile a white card from your hand rather than pay its cost. Flash creatures you control get one one. Pretty good. That's to, cool too. Yeah, pretty good to combat flash. Pretty good to just flash if you've got a little bit of extra mana at an end step. And pretty funny overall if you 
oh, he's only got one ones, whatever. I'll swing a few things at it. And then suddenly you got a bunch of creatures dying. Yeah. I got two twos. Then we have Oubliette. One and two black when Oubliette enters the battlefield. Target creature phases out until under t- until Oubliette leaves the battlefield. Tap that creature as it phases in this way. Which is nice. Wow. So even when they get it back, it comes tapped. Yeah, it's not bad. That's great. You can't you can't command zone phasing. Uh, gross. Yeah, this locks your commander away. You don't have enchantment removal. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh i'm so sorry guys i'm so sorry which is which is so many people yeah. you're playing mono red that sucks no <laughs> uh, whoops better draw your chaos warp <laughs> same thing yeah oh, chaos warps it right back to oubliette no <laughs> i choose the same creature right um we've got a phyrexian arena it, it's on theme one double black beginning of your upkeep you draw a card you lose a life it's great it's on theme it's what we need not a Phyrexian enchantment? No, I'm joking. Yeah, right. Then, we have Skrell's Hive. We got the home of all the mites. Uh, one in a white. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life and create a 1-1 one, one colorless Phyrexian mite artifact creature token with Toxic 1, and this creature can't block. If you got corrupted, as long as an opponent has three or more poison counters, creatures you control with Toxic have lifelink. Not bad, not bad. I deal poison counters, and I gain life. Right. Uh, we also have this Tokazia's Welcome, two and a white. Whenever one or more creatures with mana value three or less enters under your control, draw a card. Triggers only once a turn. But again, we're making lots of lots of mites. So even like with a Skrulls Hive out, you know, we lose a life, we get a draw. It, it's, it's pretty solid overall for a deck that's making one ones. A Skull Clamp would be great in this deck, but I couldn't find any. That it would. Yeah, Skull Clamp's wonderful. Then we have Unquestioned Authority. Two and a white enchant um, enchant creature. When enchanted, uh, when Unquestioned Authority enters the battlefield, draw a card. Enchanted creature has protection from creatures. That's a good one. Yeah, Rhea's getting through no matter what. Shaklong. Only the ancestors should be revered. Shaklong, am I right? I'm getting old, old enough now. I'm an ancestor. Yeah, right. Um, we've we've got a lot of, like I said, we have a lot of ways to use those sections in our favor, get a lot of stuff going on. And then I tried to keep that semi-mostly politics theory alive in the creature section too. Brian, you could start us off with this one because I know you like this one too. Oh, buddy, I love it. We are starting off with Brina the Demigog. One white, black, bird, warlock, flying... Whenever a player attacks one of your opponents, if that player has more life than the other opponent, that attacking player draws a card. And you put two plus one plus one counters on a creature you control. Yeah, right. We want to prevent the damage from Rhea. So, again, it's not scary. I'm just trying to make more mites, right? Man, I didn't know Brina was $10 now. Well, $11. I don't think it is. It says 99 cents on my thing over here. Oh, uh, okay. And this is the like the extended art one. But oh, yeah. probably yeah. This is just the normal commander one over on the list I have here. Hmm. Um, we have champions of Minas Tirith, five and a white, four six human soldier. When it enters, you become the monarch. I say it every time. I love that mechanic. You have combat on each of your turn. If you're the monarch, that opponent may pay X, where X is the number of cards in their hand. If they don't, they can't attack you. Just uh, again, a pretty solid stay away from me thing. And a really easy way to trade Monarch back and forth with your buddies, right? Uh, you can hit me if I can hit you with Rhea. Yep. Ooh, would it still happen, though? Because you technically prevent the damage. I'd hit you with Rhea and a Mite. Right. But I'd give... So but I'd give poison you, token? Yeah, but I'd give you it back. I swear. You gotta believe me. The Mites Only can't block anyways. Turns. Only got ten turns. <laughs> the next one we got here is Cliffside Rescuer, one and a white. Core Soldier, Vigilance. You can tap it, sacrifice cliffside rescuer. Target permanent you control gains protection from each of your opponents until end of turn, and it's a 2-2. Two, two. That's neat. That, yeah, the protection from each of your opponents is pretty cool. We have a cruel celebrant as well. We're making so many tokens that you're gonna you're gonna see this package for sure. Uh, a black and a white for a one-two vampire. When it or another pl- creature or planeswalker you control dies, each opponent loses the life you gain a life. Really insulates us from a board wipe. Yeah. Don't don't blow my stuff up or you're going to lose a whole lot of life. Yeah. Then right. we have Daxos, Blessed by the Sun. Two white. 
uh, demigod, Daxos, toughness is equal to your devotion to white. And whenever another creature you control enters the battlefield or dies, you gain one life. Yep. Again. I really like the foil constellation of him. Looks really nice. I really liked all of those ones, to be honest. This this whole section of the uh, demigods, I like them. The, the Losing all my mites isn't great. It's not, it's not wonderful. It's not what we want. It might wreck our not game. A, not a fun time. You know? But uh, I'm going to make this pun all day, Brian. The like the fact that we can just gain so much life back so quickly is wonderful. Um, the next one too, I have another that I haven't seen so far, but I really enjoy playing this one. It's it's come out a few times when I've played it. Uh, first off, the flavor text is much must be risked in war. I agree. Uh, so it's one one white one black. This is Denethor ruling steward, a two four human noble. At the beginning of your end step, if a creature died on your control this turn, you create a one one white human soldier token. Awesome. But as a mana sink, two sack another creature, each opponent loses a life and you gain a life. Not I, bad at all. Yeah, I really like being able to, again, power sink into that life loss instead of damage. Yep. Because uh, a lot of people, that, or there's not really many cards that are prevent loss. It's yeah. usually damage. Yeah, exactly. It's prevent the next X damage. Loss generally can't be mitigated. And the next one I absolutely love. It's Ellis Ilcor, Sadistic Pilgrim, one white, one black, Phyrexian Core Cleric, Death Touch. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. Whenever another creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life. And that's a 2 2. Yeah, I think overall that one, it having Death Touch makes it so rough to swing into. Yep right do you want to block it and lose something or yeah. do you want to attack me and yeah ellis is a scary blocker and again it's a 2-2 that's that's saving us like we're we're gaining life we're we're losing life it, it, it's it's really well statted i really enjoyed him as my commander um yeah my commander for like uh my oh i haven't seen you play that one in a while aristocrats i uh, know i i've been kind of moving pieces from inside that deck into other decks um that's fair i gotta probably piece it back together hopefully you have are you gonna are you gonna have Ariette for the event i'm hoping i gotta really put some time into I it i think that's another like potential orzov politics deck just a different mm -hmm. kind i think that's fun um we also have this erebos bleak hearted Three and a black for a five, six legendary enchantment creature. God, that one's really statted up. Uh, as long as your devotion to black is less than five, it's not a creature. Whenever another creature you control dies, you can pay two life. If you do draw a card, awesome. And then pay one and a black, sack another creature. Target creature gets minus two, minus one. Really phenomenal, like just indestructible remover. Yep. The minuses is great. Yeah, right. We then have Fane, the broker, two and a black human warlock. Tap, sacrifice a creature, put two plus one plus one counters on a on target creature. Um, no, it doesn't have to be yours, which is great. Um, tap, remove a counter from a creature you control, create a treasure token. Or tap it, sacrifice an artifact to create a two one, uh, sorry, two one white and black inkling creature token with flying. And then we can pay three and a black to untap Fane the Broker. You know why this is so good? The untapping ability? The mites are artifacts. Oh, yeah, then that works. So we're able to pump counters onto Rhea at instant speed if we want. No problem. Mm -hmm. But we're also able to generate a ton of, like, flying blockers if we Flyers. need. Flyers. Yeah. yeah. Turn our 1-1s one with Toxic into 2 one with Flying. This is like a... The, the, I, I see this deck as an evolution deck now, because you can take your bites into Inklings... Yeah, right? Or, or into zombies, yeah. Zombies, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think Fane really does a cool thing. It gives us that ramp if we really need it. But mostly, like, we have a small 1-1 one -one counter theme in here with things like Arbrina, etc., right? Um, a Cathar's Crusade would be crazy in the deck. So would the Landfall, Felidar Retreat, where all your creatures the, get, like, 1-1. One -one. Those kind of spreading it out. And the new white. Yeah, um, the Virtue. Yeah, where it untaps... At, again this was a, i wanted to keep this deck mostly on theme of like making deals be they good or bad deals they are still deals um sorry i wasn't gonna say the virtue i was gonna say the crater hoof oh yes the uh the new flying one mm -hmm. crater hoof at home um 
Yeah, we also have this Fire Main Commando. I've been putting this into every deck I can lately. I really like it. Uh, it's three and a white for a 4-3 Angel Soldier with flying. Whenever you attack with two or more creatures, you draw a card. Whenever another player attacks with two or more creatures, they draw as long as they didn't attack you. Again, it's helping them. It's helping us, giving us draw, because we're going to generally attack with Rhea. And a lot of times I trigger this by saying like, hey, like I'm going to throw a 1-1 one, one Might with Toxic at you and Rhea. Let me hit you with Rhea. Kill the Might. I don't care. Yep, I just want to draw. Yep, I just want my draw. Then we have the Keen Duelist, one and a black human wizard. At the beginning of your end step, you and target opponent each reveal the top card of your library. You each lose life equal to the mana value or the card of the card revealed by the other player. You each put that card you revealed into your hand, and this is a 2-2. Yeah, you don't wanna you don't wanna do this to the Eureka player. You lose life for theirs, they lose life for yours. Draco or whatever. Yeah, I lose 16 life. Oof, they, I get a land. Oof, big hurts. Yeah, or one. Yeah, right. Um, but I, I do think the Keen Duelist is, is pretty fun. It it's, uh, kind of punishes both of us a little bit, but it's unbiased card draw, right? It's, yep. here you go, you can have this. I'm going to get a sneak peek at their top card. Yeah, you get to see a little bit of what's going on there. We have our Loyal Warhound as well. One and white for a 3 1 dog. You got that dog in him. Uh, vigilance. When Loyal Warhand enters, if an opponent controls more lands, you may search for a basic planes, put it onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. I just like this as ramp. The our Paladin Steed is a celestial spirit in animal form. The uh, artwork's pretty silly. If you, if you really is. spend a minute looking at it, it's pretty silly. Oh, body. Yeah. The next one we have here is Lunanarch Veteran, a one white human cleric. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life and then disturb for a white and a, uh, sorry, one and a white. Does this flip? Mm -hmm. I got the backside up here. Uh, it's Luminous Phantom is the backside, a 1-1 one, one spirit cleric with flying. Whenever another creature you control leaves the battlefield, you gain a life. And if Luminous would be put into a graveyard from anywhere, exile it. Hmm. Peasy peasy. I like it. You can have this next one, Brian. Go ahead. Uh, you know what? I'll take this one. We got the Merkwood Bats. Three and a black for a bat. Two, three. Whenever you create or sacrifice a token, each opponent loses the life. Womp womp. It's a really good card. Yeah, right? Merkwood Bats is pretty phenomenal. The, it, then we obviously... Oh, sorry? I was going to say, at least it's not... Uh, at least it's not when a token dies, right? This is more specifically for, like, your food deck, your treasure token kind of things. But again, solid. Well, and... But it's with your mites. If I... If you create... Yeah, if, I, if I'm creating 10 mites, it's, uh, it still hurts a lot. It's 30 damage. It's a problem. Yeah, 30 loss. Oof. Um, we do have Mother of Runes, one white. Uh, human cleric, target creature you control, gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. One, one. A really good early game one. Um, we have another one I don't see very often. It's from the 40k decks. It's Nam Shai Marad. Uh, two, one white, one black. Also a great alternate commander for the deck. Three, three human rogue with rogue trader. When Niam Shai Marad deals combat damage to a player, you may have that player return target permanent from their graveyard to their hand. If you do, that player chooses a permanent in your graveyard, then puts it onto the battlefield under your control. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I really like this card. I want to build this into its own deck, but again, it's something you never find because it's from the 40k decks, right? Yeah. But yeah, like I just think that'd be a really fun to to run like an unearth theme kind of deck where it's lots of getting things into your grave and then you bonk them, they get their card back, then they have to choose something to give you back. That's fun. Please be nice. Give me something good. Yeah, right. Um, I'll let you take your boy, Dan. I was going to say, I really do like this one, too. I'll, I'll, I'll let you take your boy. Nils is so fun. I wish Nils had a partner. If Nils had partner, I'd have 50 Nils decks. Uh, it's Nils Discipline Enforcer, two and a white for a 2-2 two -two human cleric, uh, legendary creature. At the beginning of your end step for each player, put a 1-1 one -one counter on up to one target creature that, that player controls. It's great. We're pumping the board for them. Each creature with one or more counters on it can't attack. You are a planeswalker you control unless its controller pays X, where X is the number of counters on those creatures. That's so good. Yeah. This into Atraxa is brutal. You know, you, you dump a, a thing on Atraxa because it's not... It's not the number of 1-1 one, one counters, it's the number of counters. That shield counters, like anything like that. It's any kind of counters. Pay one. 
Yeah, it's it's really fun. I, I, uh, I really enjoyed it with when we were playing our pre-con league. A lot of people don't trigger nils on themselves, though. You give your end step for each player, not each opponent, each player. You get a 1-1 one, one counter, so you, you're also pumping your creatures with this. My creatures can't attack me even more than what they already can't. Yeah, right. The white background is pretty good, too, but again, just really hard to cut. Uh, it's really hard to cut the list down in something like this. Oh, okay. What does the white what does the white background do? I'm just pulling it up here. It's uh, I, I, I run it in a bunch of decks. It is the, where is this card? It's it's got a cool ability with counters, just like the normal ones that I like. Okay, but I can't find it. Um, let me gather a search. Brian, you read the next one while I while I read. Sure, this. we have the Orzov Advocate, two and a white human advisor. At the beginning of your upkeep, each player may put two plus one plus one counters on a creature they control. If a player does, creatures that player controls can attack you or a planeswalker you control until your next turn. One four. That's also another really cool one. I really like the ability to just get, you know. I like that the two kind of pair off with one another, Nils and the Orzov Advocate. Yeah, this one's may they may, but again, I may put them on my creature as well. And then I they can't. Gave, then I can't attack. They should have gave the creature. Orzov Advocate a name. Yeah, right. Like this is Prudence and Nils. <laughs> i like i said i i really genuinely enjoy that one i'm just trying to see. it's noble heritage is the, is the other option uh, it's one in a white it's legendary background chromatic creatures you have when this creature enters or the beginning of your upkeep each player may put two on one counters on a creature they control for each opponent who does you gain protection from that player until your next turn oh that's not bad at all yeah i run that in my kenrith skip the skip my turns deck you're, you're so, a bad man yeah so people take a bunch they're like oh yeah no problem i'll put my counters on and then i skip 50 turns so i have protection from them for 50 turns and they can't hit me it's fun yeah that, that's I good re- i, I really should do the skip the turns deck at some point it's uh, if it's you guys would point. like to hear about the skip the dishes let us or skip, skip the, the dishes, dishes. skip Brian's the t- skip the turn yeah i'm hungry uh if you want to hear about the skip the skip the turns deck uh comment below <laughs> Maybe I'll put that list up as like an article for Patreon. That's a cool one, too. Um, we also have the Scholar of New Horizons. It is one of white. Enters with a 1-1 counter on it. You remove a 1-1 counter from a permanent you control, which is good. We've got a lot of permanent stuff. Search your library for planes. Reveal it if a controls more lands. You can put onto the battlefield. If you don't, you put it into your hand. Solid ramp, and we're in a mini 1-1 counter theme. Yep. I like the artwork for this one. It's cool, right? Uh, then we have Skrelv, the Defector Might, one white. We we talked about his home earlier. Um, legendary artifact creature, Phyrexian Might, Toxic 1, Skrull Defector Might can't block. Uh, one Phyrexian White, tap it, choose a color. Another um, another target creature you control gains Toxic 1 and Hexproof from the color until um, end of turn. It can't be blocked by creatures of the, of the color this turn. I like that a lot. The, that it's not specifically protection, that it's hexproof and still the no block. I really enjoy that. Yep. Again, a great way to get us through with Rhea. The bites just look so funny. Yeah, right. They're pretty. They're pretty silly drawn. How how they are. I like yeah. it a lot. Same. Obviously, scroll about to be in the deck. The this would function really well as a poison counter theme deck with your proliferates, with your other things that actually make mites or like like a charge of the mites for example there's lots of cool stuff but i i really try to keep it group hug group hug adjacent yeah because like you could have put in the um the the black cards from the phyraxian sets yeah that each player sacrifices a creature they each get a poison counter or each player um gets a poison counter and you draw three cards like there's a couple different black ones yeah right like there's there's some pretty cool stuff you could do with this i just i like to keep it this way the the next two are kind of again things that you're going to expect a little bit suture priest we got one in the white for a one one whenever another creature enters under your control you may gain a life great whenever one enters under an opponent's control you may have them lose one if they're out tokening us maybe maybe they just start losing them hard yes yeah technically though it is a May choice, and you can politics that May choice. I won't make you lose your life, but leave me alone. And let my commander hit you. Yeah, let Rhea bonk. Rhea bonk. Right? No. Rhea uh, shaklonkvor. Shaklonk. <laughs> Shabang of Bladehold. There we go. 
The last creature in our set is Zulaport Cutthroat, one on a black human rogue ally. Whenever Zulaport Cutthroat or another creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life. And you can gain one life, and it's a 1-1. One, one. It's really fun to just end the game with this. Put this down and swing with, like, 30 mites. Block them, you die. Don't block them, you die. Choose. You're dying. Poison counters or damage or yeah, life then, loss. Then you even have to politics that one at the end. Just be like, listen, you're already going to die. All you're doing right now is saving Slothy from death the next turn. Just take the damage. Let me swing at him. We'll get to the next game faster. You just got to bully your friends into letting you kill them with mites. Yeah, but Daniel, I'm holding the swords to Plowshare. Yeah, but why would you cast it? I I feel like were you playing this deck when I like targeted your commander and then you killed me? No, that was the game immediately after this one. Oh, okay. Rip slothy, that's funny in the chat. Yeah, it's uh, I I really really enjoyed playing this one. the The one was Barakos. The I have Barakos oh, with uh, yes. With, uh, it wasn't with inspiring leader. What was it? Folklore or folk hero? Yeah, that that deck is really really fun to play. Actually, I might bring that one out too um i'm i just show the amount of... really quick i was gonna say i just show up to the face-to-face event with 15 orzov decks what's up guys i'm here with all my deals yeah it's all deals yeah i'm even getting deals from the vendors on these decks <laughs> um with all the tokens that you're making um I, I i the i think it's the trans morgan altar which you can sacrifice for three mana um I guess, like, uh, for me, I usually put in, like, the other sacrifice outlets of... The altars? The altars uh, are phenomenally yeah. better. Yeah, like, I think that would be the other, my only, probably, addition. Uh, again... Except uh, I don't know what I would remove. A, a skull clamp would be really great in the deck. Uh, like you mm-hmm. had mentioned earlier, Mondrak. I always forget Mondrak's a card. It's just so good. And I have them all. Yeah, right? Mondrak would be another phenomenal thing to just, like, dump into the like into the decks there yeah sacrifice what five tokens or five creatures she becomes indestructible i think it's two yeah, okay even better yeah but but even still uh, like like you could make this much stronger the one like digging deep into the one one counter theme of like again like replacing nils with a felidar retreat where you're everything gets one one on landfall sure like is better but i i just i i built this deck like I build most decks with an idea in mind, and that was that I was going to make shady deals because I like to make shady Orzov deals. Oh, no, I, I, I'm i going to say yeah. I love the deals part of this. I really enjoy the deck. Um, I guess like I, I just typically throw them in so I can speed yeah. things up if I really want to, but I, I, I don't th- really. I think you would have put in general like a, a better removal and defense package. Like you'd probably run a Teferi's Protection kind of thing. And you know what I mean? Like the... You know, uh, a smothering would be great in this deck kind of thing too lot the, like yeah because like any any way that you're making tokens in this deck because of that Merkwood bats too and it, then just any death triggers yeah right a black market would be really good and there's there's lots of like cool things that you could do with this list oh you don't even have, you don't even have the soul sisters in nope I, again a really hard list to cut down yeah the, I'm just thinking all the mites you're making, the soul sister triggers, each mite I gain two life. You're getting three mites per turn. I'm gaining a fun thing to remember. Life. A fun thing to remember too is that Rhea does have battle cries. So when you swing out, all those one ones are are two ones, right? That that is a lot of extra damage that can come down. Mm-hmm. Especially you flash out like that instant speed uh force of virtue kind of thing. Now there are three ones coming at you 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 don't block 10 or you don't block nine you're like it's not going to kill me and nine damage turns to 27 fast yeah and then you block them and then they start the death triggers and then there's so much more damage on the stack yeah i just (laughs) i've had a ton of fun playing this one ever since ever since i put it together it's a hundred dollar deck again it's not one that's going to be out of reach for most people to put together even even an exact printing of right like you could probably bring this even lower, removing some of your things like a Scrolls Hive, like a Reverent Mantra. Because what's Scrolls Hive's gone down? Oof, big hurts, big hurts on the Scrolls Hive. Tell me about it, but I know you bought so many. No, oh, I bought so many. I like it regardless, even I, I like things like Bitter Blossom. Another thing would be really fun to put in Bitter Blossom, just anything making tokens. Yep, yeah, no, uh, Rhea, Rhea's been a really, really Oh, and Sherman enjoys playing it too. Like uh, oh, that, I think that, I've played against his like two or three times. That's what I was going to ask. Like, what kind of direction did he go with his? I think he might have had more um, 
Voltron cards to pump up the commander yep. to get the more tokens. So I think that's the route that he took his in. That makes sense. Rhea's strong, yeah. If you you can always like equipping Rhea with all those swords and stuff, just being like, hey, it's a it's a fifteen fifteen. I'm gonna hit you with it, but don't worry, we're not gonna do the damage. Just just know. Eyes I'm on a me. good guy. Yeah, eyes on me, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, this was uh this was a good one. I'm gonna bring this one to the event for sure. I I I enjoy playing against it. I enjoy decks that make tokens, and I know you're a simple man just like me, and want to see how many you can make. I but do then like, you can also be. I do like to see how many I can make. I also really like to trade people's turns. I think it's really funny. Oh, that yeah. You hey, I'll, I want to see what's in your hand and play your deck a little bit. You can play mine. Yeah, well, it's it's really fun as well too. If somebody's getting kind of like messed with at the table by someone like let's say like player three is bullying player four. And uh, stuff like that. You can just give player three your field and just be like, <laughs> go, go silly. Yeah, you can, you can yeah. somewhat win. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, you, can, you can help other people get their victory that they need. I give Brian my turn. I have 80 mites and Slothy's been annoying. I have still made the deal that I will not attack. I made no deals what Brian will do with my creatures. <laughs> I'm a man of my that, word. That's, that, I, that's I, good. I'm a man of my word, but that word is... Need, needs to be specific that, that word is shady <laughs> yeah that word is shady but yeah no we'll we'll end it there like i said i really have a ton of fun playing this one um there's my outro music if you like the stuff we're doing and you want to see more of it go to into the 99.com we've got lots of articles all our content goes there lots of videos um it's been a really really busy month for everyone but we should be back to a pretty normal ish i'd say uh streaming schedule with like friday nights and and like more gameplay stuff coming out from those ones so i'm looking forward to doing that again because i've had no time to play and i miss playing i miss playing my silly games so I yeah daniel yeah we'll be doing that yeah i think i've only seen brian once in a few months it's been ages um other than that if you want to come talk with uh, us about decks we're going to be starting to put up more like bonus stuff as well on patreon come over there you can be in the chat while we record we have thunder in the chat right now thunder's great uh thanks yeah, for live, being here as well yeah live listening yeah you can live listen to what we record we chat lots about building decks a lot about like the spoilers that come out and everything with uh brian was pretty excited about these dinosaur ones so it, it's Rawr. great yeah great place to uh, chat with all that and then yeah other than that check us out on youtube like share subscribe it it really does help people like notice us cost you nothing except like a few seconds of your time so really why wouldn't you right uh which we appreciate yeah uh, i should say that yeah I'll, I'll politics it. Do it right. Swing with Rhea. <laughs> non shady <laughs> politics. We yeah. probably. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, and then the final thing is, if you are in Edmonton or uh, in Edmonton, Calgary, Alberta, anywhere of those areas, come check us out at the Face to Face Calgary One. Use the promo code into the ninety nine, all one word, for a discount off. And yeah, it'll be fun. And thank you to Thunder, um, War. Uh, oh. I'm getting everyone's names here. Yeah, you got a lot. Let me let me let me intro music you again. Oh, I thank you. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we want to say a special thanks to Whipsaw, Thunder, Strange Ronin, and our newest. Uh, I hate Discord's new little thing. Where can't I can't get his him? name right. Yep, can't see his name. Where is your Where's your channel, Brian? Patron one, you know it. We'll we'll fix we'll fix this out. We'll fix this and out. I'm not fixing it. I'm not fixing a thing. And if you get here, you can listen to our mix-ups. <laughs> oh, it does just say C. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, C. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's really funny. You said us. Yeah. That's pretty good. Um. Yeah. No. But yeah. That's that's the end. That's the end for now. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll get there. Pretty sure it's Calvin. I'm pretty sure it is as well. Calvin, update your name. <laughs> All right, bye for real. Bye bye. <laughs>